it's time to show some DC love for my DC comic fans and comic fans in general. So these are six comics you need to get. Stick around to find out what they are. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, my comic book lovers. This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, as promised, I am starting my five-part series on comics from the DC Universe that you need to pick up. Now, we're going to start out with the least likely and the least expensive books and continue on to the more expensive and the more desirable books. So don't fade away after a video or two because it's just going to get better from here. So stick around to watch each and every one. Now, um, there are going to be six in this. And what I'm going to do is I've decided to make out, uh, put out a video every other day. So this way people get a chance to kind of look for some of these books before they're bombarded with another video. So it'll help them out a little bit. Now, obviously, this first video is going to be some inexpensive books and ones where there's rumors to take a chance on. So we'll see what happens. But uh, my subscribers asked for this. And I wanted to make sure I give it. So you don't have to be a DC fan. You could just be a comic fan. And uh, one other thing I want to recommend or remind people just in case if they forgot. If you signed up for that cashback program that I was, I made a video about about a week, week and a half ago. Um, if you want to get the additional $10 cashback bonus, you have to spend $25 or more by the end of this month, which is June 30th. That's the deadline. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, look in the link in the description. There's a link that'll take you right to the site. You can sign up, and if you spend $25 or more before the 20, I'm sorry, before the 30th of this month, which is less than two weeks away, not only will you get the regular cash back, but you will also get an additional $10. And some of my subscribers have confirmed that they did get the $10, so it does work. So with that being said, let's start getting into the comics. All right. So this first one, this is one you're going to get really cheap. It's one that's not going to be a key issue or anything, but this is one of those cases where if you can't afford the number one issue, this is the next best thing. So we have right here, very easy book to acquire, uh, Minimal Risk. This is Shazam issue number two. Now, uh, some people might be thinking at this point Shazam number one is starting to get out of reach. I mean, it's not going to be for everybody. That book is now going between $50 and $75, and they haven't even made a trailer yet, so that's going to keep going. So there's nothing really special about this book other than the fact that you could probably find this easily in a dollar bin or $0.25 cents at a garage sale. So it's the second issue. It's something that you can easily get. You're obviously not going to be able to retire on this book, but hey, if you spend a dollar on a book and you turn around and sell it for 10 bucks. You know, you made a nice profit, so it might be worth taking the chance on. I got this years ago, so I don't remember what I paid, but I definitely probably didn't pay more than a dollar or two. All right, next up. This is another one of those books you're not going to end up buying the farm or selling the farm to get, but this is a book that you might want to consider getting. This is Batman, the Rebirth series, issue number 24. Uh, this is one of the variants. So a honorable mention will also be the first print. It's got like a purplish cover to it. Really like that one. I just didn't get it, un unfortunately, at the time. But this is the issue where Batman promote proposes to Catwoman. And we know coming soon in issue 50, I believe, they are actually doing the wedding. So they've been kind of milking this a little bit. But this is when it first took place. So again, this is a book you can get fairly cheap. I paid a total of... Well, actually, I paid cover price for this one. That's why there's no price. So uh, you'll probably spend under $15 for this book. Again, it's not something that's going to be um, anything where you're going to make millions. I don't think this has long-term value. But if you can find this book for 5 or 10 bucks, sell it for 20 25 after fifty issue 50 goes out, you know, you make a nice profit. So this one, I would say short-term to hold on to. I wouldn't keep this long-term unless you like reading it. Nothing wrong with that. All right, this is another one of those cases where if you cannot afford the first appearance, this is the next best thing. This is DC Comics Presents Superman and Shazam. 
This is issue number 49. Now, obviously, this is the, well, this is the second appearance, well, the second Bronze Age appearance of Black Adam. Now, on the back, I wrote Silver Age, but that's not accurate. But I only paid $13 and, let me move out of the way, 29 cents for this book. That's the second Bronze Age appearance. His first appearance is in the Marvel family from the Golden Age. And you're talking like five to 6,000 for like a 1.0. So that's definitely going to be out of the reach out of the most majority of the comic collectors. The next one is starting to get up there price-wise. You're talking a couple of hundred where it's his first appearance uh, since, the Bron since the Golden Age in the Bronze Age. But this is the next best thing. You could get this book for under $20. And with the Shazam movie and the Black Adam being in the movie coming, I mean, who knows if it's going to be official or not. That's why I put it lower down because it's worth taking the chance on, especially if you're going to spend $20 or less. Um, I wouldn't spend more than $20 on this book. Sit on it and wait to see if DC not only makes a, a movie, but makes a good movie. If it ends up they make the movie and it's not really good, sell this as fast as you can. Like the first day. All right, next up. This is another one of those books. The person's already been in the TV show, so it brought the value down a little bit. But that's the best time to pick up a book. So it makes it a little bit more affordable. This is Action Comics issue number 835, which is the first appearance of Livewire in the DC continuity. This is, I love this cover. Hard to find in high grade because of all the black in the background. It shows every little crease. I got this one. You know, it looks like it's in beautiful condition because you could usually tell when somebody reads a book with a black background, there's a lot of color breaks. None to be found. Corners are sharp. Haven't looked at the back, but if I ever got it graded, I would definitely do that. Looks like it could be 9.6 to 9.8. I only paid $9.50 for this book, but I bought it a couple years ago. But you could probably still get it for that price because, like I said, this, this character was already in one of the TV shows. Who knows if they'll ever come back or they'll use her again. Still a, a popular, you know, a lesser character in the DC continuity. But hey, for the price that you can get it for, pick it up. Don't spend more than $15 for that book. Next up, this is for all the Flash fans out there. This is Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is issue number 12. This is the issue where Wally West becomes Flash. Now, let me tell you, if you, I would recommend getting the whole entire series, and if you haven't read it, please do. I, I read this, this whole series when I was a kid. Um, definitely great artwork and definitely great stories. Uh, little tearjerker moments. I won't spoil anything, but definitely uh, you, you'll enjoy this read. I only paid $7.75 for this book, but again, like I said, uh, um, I always say I bought this a couple years ago, and there's also the quote-unquote death of the original Dove, you know, from Hawk and Dove. But if you're a Wally West fan, he becomes the new Flash. Whether they make a Flash movie or not, who knows? But again, that's why I put this in the first video. You could probably get this book all day under 10 bucks. Very fine, the near mint grade. All right, the last one's purely speculation. Uh, this one, you can get cheap. The idea is on a speculation book, you want to get it based on the rumor before it becomes official, if it becomes official. If it doesn't, you don't spend a lot of money. If it does, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Now, one of my subscribers um, alerted me to this book. It was a couple weeks ago that they mentioned it, so I apologize. I don't remember who it is. So if you are watching this video and you're the one that gave me that uh, message about this book, please post it in the comments section so this way I can give credit where credit is due. But this is a book you might want to check out. This is Batman issue number 475. Um, this is the newsstand edition. I got this one. I got a couple of them on their way. They haven't arrived yet. And uh, this, there has been, well, the rumor is that Scarface, well, actually, I'm sorry, not Scarface, The Question might be getting their own TV show. And this is the first appearance of Renee Montoya, a.k.a. The Question. Now, as you can see, this one is probably about a 9-6 grade. The only thing I saw about this is you probably can't even see it on the camera, but a microscopically thin color break. 
that goes maybe two millimeters, but that would probably make that a 9.6. Corners are sharp. As you could see here, I paid $7.96. If you can get the newsstand edition, always get the newsstand edition because they are rarer. Unfortunately, most people don't know that, so it really doesn't affect the grade. Hopefully one day it will get the justice it deserves. But again, get this book now before the rumors end up potentially being true. I can't guarantee it. And even if the rumors were true, it doesn't mean that it can't be canceled or it doesn't work out or whatever. We've seen that before, that things just don't always end up as they seem. But it's good to take a chance on because what will happen is probably 90% of the people that watch this video and see this book will pass on it because of the fact of it's not popular. No one's talking about it. They'll sit there and say, oh, I'll get it later. And then all of a sudden, let's say hypothetically, there is a TV show announced. They actually go through with it and it ends up being a really good show. People now all of a sudden want the first appearance. Now, this isn't the first appearance of, of question ever, because remember, there is a Golden Age um, first appearance. We're talking about the this modern character. And if you see about a lot of TV shows and movies, they tend to use the more updated versions most of the time. So this might be the one they would look for. But then again, like I said, when it comes to Golden Age, you're talking very expensive. It's going to be out of people's price range. You can get this book now. For under $10. I have a couple more on their way under $6. And that includes shipping and handling. So most people will pass on this book. Until. Like I said. If all of a sudden there is a TV show and it goes well. Now everybody's going to want this book. Most people will get it when it's $50, $60, $75. That's the worst time to get it. So with this. If you buy it for 5 bucks And it doesn't work out. You didn't bet the farm. But. You don't have to sell the farm to buy this later on if it becomes a popular TV show and it actually becomes true. So that's why I recommended back in 2015 books like the Captain America 17 Second Print, The Edge of the Spider-Verse 2, The Ultimate Fallout 4s. You could get those books for under $25. Like, for example, The Edge of, the, the of Spider-Verse 2, I was buying between $25 and $30. And I bought like 8 to 10 copies. Ultimate Fallout 4, I have probably 15 to 20 copies. I was buying it when it was 10 to $15 and nobody wanted to touch it. Now good luck trying to get one of those books for under 30 to 40 And with the Edge of Spider-Verse now in the, with the movie, you're talking that book is probably about $125 to $150 book now. But most people tend to wait until emotions set in. So this is a book take a chance on. Whether it works out or not, who knows? But it's better to buy it cheap and take the chance then have to wait and that's my opinion what you do is up to you so that's it these are the first six books i will be doing another video in another day i will skip a day so people get a chance to check these out if you have any of these books put it in the comment section let me know what kind of prices let me know if you think these are good books to take a chance on none of these books you're going to become a millionaire a millionaire off of but like i said as the videos progress the books will be more expensive, more desirable. I didn't put anything like Detective Comics 27 or Action Comics number one. There is no book that will be in here that you can't get for under $500. So that'll be the highest that you would pay for a book. But most of these books are going to be under 100 bucks easily. Like these, I don't think any of them you'd be spending more than $20 for unless it was already graded. So hit the like button if you appreciate this. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to be a part of this channel. Make sure you also remember that deadline on June 30th if you want to sign up for that program with the cash back. If you spend $25 or more, you do get that additional 10 bucks. If you haven't signed up or you didn't know what I was talking about, check that other video or look at the link in the description. Sign up and spend 25 bucks on anything. It doesn't have to be comics. But if anything, you get the $10 back. So if you spent $25 on, let's say, a 9.8 of this book, and you get $10 back, well, now you only paid $15. So it's worth it, and I want to save you guys some money. So thanks for listening. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Just don't hit your belly button because that's kind of weird. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And we're going to zoom in this way because that is one scary-looking puppet.